the close partnership between Taiwan and St. Lucia has continued to grow stronger with increasingly diversified and timely bilateral cooperation projects. Under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Fiji Jiepie, with the support and collaboration from the cabinet ministers and their teams in the ministries. All of those projects are based on the people-centered principle and which is the fundamental factor of democracy. Today, I take pleasure to demonstrate this staunch friendship and great partnership again for delivering on behalf of the Taiwan government funding for nine projects in response to the request from the government of St. Lucia, which includes VG Sports Complex, Boys to Men Mushrooms, Enhancing Honey and CMOS, Fishery Facilities Upgrade Improvement, Repairs and Maintenance to the Castries, Dairy and View for Fishing Facilities, Cocoya Sector Enhancement, Repairs to Facilities Corrections, Central Procurement of Office Furniture and etc. Fire Service, Sustainable School Garden, Library Market and Square Reconstruction. Christmas is coming, and it's a time to show appreciation. So I would like to take this opportunity to express our heartfelt gratitude to the people and government of St. Lucia for the ongoing strong support to Taiwan's international participation. And special thanks to Honorable Prime Minister Fiji JPA, Honorable Minister Ava Baptiste, Honorable Minister Moses John Baptiste, and Honorable Minister Sean Edward for voicing out for Taiwan's campaign in the United Nations. WHA, ICAO, Interpol, and UNFCCC. Looking ahead, we will continue to collaborate with the St. Lucian government for the mutual benefit of our two countries, with a more comprehensive partnership contributing to a sustainable quality of life for our people. Thank you. <laughs> and I wish everyone and all the people in St. Lucia Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much, Mr. Ceremonies, Deputy Prime Minister, members of the Cabinet, members of the Civil Service Permanent Secretary, the Accountant General, Cabinet Secretary, Ambassador, and his delegation from the Taiwanese Embassy. Good morning. Um, as I've said before, a Minister of Finance sometimes smiles when he gets grants. <laughs> and this morning, the Minister of Finance will be smiling because he's getting grants. Um, I, I want to thank the government of Taiwan for agreeing to fund the projects that the ambassador mentioned. And I'm going to go into just a little detail on these projects because you, you notice that they are keeping with the government's mantra of putting people first. Most of these projects relate directly to people, either young people or farmers or people of that nature. It's direct. The, the first the project we get $150,000 for is a VG Sports Complex renovation. And that is, these are facilities used by the young people of Castries, mainly, but from other areas. And also, it's a, it's a, it's a venue where we have a, many international fixtures. And then the repairs to that, this that complex is just the, the beginning. But we hope that we can continuously improve it. So we're very happy that we're getting $150,000 to fund that project. Then there's a Boys to Men Mushrooms project, where we get $100,000 to do that. And we speak about a lot of interventions, and everyone now, particularly in the situation that we have relating to the, the, the security of the country, everyone has some advice. And it's the government's position, the position of the entire cabinet, that we will take any advice that we can get to help us solve the problems that we have. But we, we, we believe in action, and we believe in putting some level of, of, of sustain, sustainability to, to these actions. And that $100,000 is going to be used for a program 
from it's called Boys to Men projects, which will basically aim at young men to see that we can help them in the production of mushrooms, both to employ themselves and to create it for use and for export. In the new health crisis, the new health crisis is mushrooms is, very, is a very important project. And then we're going to get $100,000 for that. And then there's another agriculture project, and the Minister of Agriculture has his red tie. Yeah. <coughs> um, there's another, another agricultural project, which is uh, honey, honey and CMOS project. Again, I always speak about CMOS and my colleagues laugh. Um, so there's an emphasis now, $300,000 on a honey and CMOS project. Basically, to get CMOS and honey, particularly the CMOS in that case, to get it to a level where we can export it and deal with the problems we have from competition, because there's great competition both with honey and CMOS. And talking about honey and CMOS, I have to mention Export St. Lucia, who have been doing quite a bit of work as far as the, expert, the exportation of honey and CMOS. <laughs> so we have $300,000 towards honey, the honey and CMOS projects. Then there's uh, upgrade agriculture again. There's uh, the Minister Agriculture can't say that he's not being he's not being observed and the importance of agriculture to the economy of St. Lucia is not being emphasized. Is huh? <laughs> agriculture, the upgrade to the facilities, $1.1 million. And, and that is Denry, Viewfort, and Castries. We have serious issues with Castries. And I hope that we can that 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 money can be used to to complement what we intend to do in Cassius because the, the, the fishermen uh the fisher people the fisher folk are complaining about the lack of facilities in Cassius um so i know the cabinet has formed a committee to look into the situation in the fisheries complex in Cassius so working together you have uh, some money to deal with and of course denry and viewfort fishing facilities, which I'm sure you will use to get some level of repairs. Then there's agriculture again, cocoa sector enhancement, $1.4 million. Again, a new export crop. A new crop, we know we'll do, we'll load, we use a lot of cocoa in our chocolate. Um, the chocolates are, the chocolates produced in St. Lucia, dark chocolate, which is again a health a health situation which is almost called a, 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 a power food, the chocolate. So, cook enhancement, new exports, diversification, real diversification of agriculture. So, when you speak about agriculture diversification, we are putting our policies in place and the money's, money will come towards these policies. Again, extremely important. Then, back, so you, we're going to get $1.4 million for the cook enhancement project. Then there, there is the repairs to the, the facilities. And then the Ministry of Home Affairs have been, um, have been calling, quite rightly so, for improvements to the bodily, the bodily institution. And we have some $785,000 to begin, which I'm sure the Ministry will use wisely at the, at the bodily institution. And I know they, they need much more. But that, that's a start, so we can start doing some much needed work up there. Then there's a procurement of furniture, and some of it for, for the fire service, $200,000. Then there is the sustainable school garden project, again, agriculture. And it's, some, it's a project that I asked for because I saw what's happening in my school, in the school in my in my in my constituency, the Martian School, I saw the young people. And you know, um, I don't want to go into the Martian again. Let's leave that alone. Um, I saw people, the, 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 the students, very interested in agriculture. So I thought we could get them just and and the few thousand dollars is not a lot. It's not a lot of money, but give them an incentive so the schools can get an incentive to go into school gardening. Um, create an incentive for them, and the $50,000 will do that. Then there's a library market square reconstruction, um, where 
the Larry Market Square is the largest amount, apart from the cocoa sector enhancement, that we are using $1 million to commence work on the Library Market Square. It's again, it's a project that's been around for a long time. Um, the people of Library need it. So now we're going to have the initial, the initial um, injection of $1 million on the Library Market Square. That totals $5.1 million. Um, all these projects I see are people-centered projects, and they were part of our, our, our budget. When we made the budget, when I made a budget presentation, we spoke about these projects using the, the Taiwanese grant funds, underline the word grant funds. But what's important is implementation. We cannot have all these projects on the books and the implementation is not happening. So we will not hear a refrain of there is no money. The money is there. The check is going to be handed over today. So the money is available. But we need to get to the implementation of these projects. And we need the public service to begin the implementation. So there cannot be any excuse that budget is over. That money is going to flow into the next budget. So we can work continuously towards this project. So the, the refrain that we have to wait for the budget money to kick in can't be used because that money will kick in before the budget. And we are preparing now in the budget another list of projects for, this, the, for the, the Taiwanese grant section, which will happen again. So we prepare, we prepare another list of projects which will fund in the Taiwanese grant project. So I'm very pleased. Um, I'm looking forward to, to, to the, the implementation of, 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 of these projects. These projects are people-centered. They are for the people of, of, of the country. And I'm glad that it, the Taiwanese government has agreed to them. And as like I said, we're going to have another set of, of grant-funded projects for, for the, the, the next budget cycle. Another thing is that most of these... These projects, as I said, are agriculture and people-centered. I want to thank the government of Taiwan. I've, we visited Taiwan, the Minister of Education and myself, and the delegation. We visited Taiwan in, in Taiwan last month. I want to thank them. We had a very, very fruitful visit. The fruits of that visit are going to be known very shortly. Um, but we need to say thank you. We need to wish you and convey to your president the gratitude of the government of St. Lucia and tell them that our, what we want in St. Lucia is sustainability. We want to work together. We want to work together. Taiwan is a large country, a small country, but I'm sure by working together, by learning from each other, both countries can benefit. So thank you, Ambassador. I do wish you Caesar's greetings. You and your family.